Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question Shortest Path with Alternating Colors. In this question, we are given an integer n and the number of nodes in a directed graph where the nodes are labeled from 0 to n minus 1. Each edge is red or blue in this graph and there could be self edges and parallel edges. So we are given two 2D arrays. First is red edges and second is blue edges. Remember, the edges are directed and they start from node at the first position and end at the second position. Now, we need to return an array answer of length n where each element in the answer array is the length of the shortest path from node 0 to node x such that the edge color alternates along the path or we need to return minus 1 if the path does not exist. So, here are certain examples given in the problem. We'll understand how the output is generated with the help of one dry run. There are certain constraints given with the problem. The number of nodes lie between 1 to 100. So let's first see what the question is all about and how we can solve it. So let's take this as the example given to us. n is equals to 5 means there are 5 nodes with the problem. Starting from 0 to 4. Let's see what this red and blue array represent. Each value in this red array represent an edge starting from the first value and ending at the last value. That means in the case 0, 1 in the red array, an edge will start from 0 and end at 1. We move forward and we have an edge from 1 to 2. Similarly for 2 to 3 and 3 to 4. Now coming to this blue edge, we will have an edge starting from 1 ending at 2 from 2 to 3 and 3 to 1. So this is the graphical representation of all the red and blue edges and the number of nodes given to us with the problem. And now what we need to find out is the distance between node 0 and the corresponding edge by following the constraint given in the problem that the edge should alternate the colors. That means one edge should be red, the other will be blue, then again red and so on. So let's first see. If we need to find out a path from 0 to 3, what we need to do? A path from 0 to 3 will start off with node 0, the steps 0. From 0, we move to node 1, that is step 1. From 1, we need to move to 2, but taking the blue edge. Because we need to move across the nodes using alternate color edges. Once we reach this node 2, we have a red edge from node 2 to node 3 and we have reached node 3, the total number of steps needed by following the constraint from 0 to 3 is 3. So we can put this particular value in the answer array. Now let's take an example where we need to move from 0 to 4. Now 0 to 4 will again start from 0. We already know how to reach the node 3. So we won't be repeating this particular case. We'll assume we have reached the node 3 and now from node 3, we cannot directly jump to node 4 because the edge is red in itself. So, we have to reach node 3 using a blue edge so that we can reach node 4 using a red edge. So, from node 3, we'll again move to node 1 using a blue edge. From node 1, we have a red edge to node 2. From node 2, we again have a blue edge to node 3. And from node 3, we can now move to node 4. Hence, there lies a path from 0 to 4 using 7 steps. So we will return this. In this problem, we can reuse the same node again and again, but we won't be reusing the edges. As we can see in the particular example, in order to reach node 4, we are reusing node 1, 2 and 3. So this is the path that we have traversed in order to reach from node 0 to node 4. In this graph itself, we can mark what all steps it takes to reach from node 0 to any other node. From node 0 to node 1, we will take one step. Node 2, we will be taking two steps. Node 3 taking three steps and node 4 is taking seven steps. At the end, we will return all these values in the form of an array. And that is the resultant answer that we are looking at. What we are trying to do is we need to find out the smallest possible distance between a node 0 and the other nodes and as we need to find out the smallest distance we will be using a concept of graph which is called 
breath first search there is also another concept called death first search but that won't help us in this particular problem so what is a breath first search breath first search is nothing but traversing the graph in a way that we traverse all the values that are present at the same level first and then moving on to the next level so if we are starting from the node 1 we will first traverse 2 3 4 and then we only move to 5 6 7 while in the case of a depth first we traverse all the way till the end which is 9 and then move again back up now i'll highly recommend you to try to code this particular approach using breadth first search and if you face any issue you can always come back to the video now let's start coding this particular approach so we need to first define an adjacency list in order to create the graph that these particular values represent so we are taking a list array of length n we'll start off with initializing all the values in this particular list array we are not using arrays.fill and passing this array list and you can learn about it why we are not doing it by clicking at the video that is shown at the top and also in the description below now once we have initialized this array we'll put the values of red edges and blue edges into this particular array now we are storing this edge starting from this particular node ending at this particular node red one and we are also having this value zero which will represent that it is a red edge for blue edge we will be using a value of one so we can just simply copy this one and change the value now our adjacency list is complete now we need to do the breadth first search so we know that in a breadth first search a queue is needed so we'll define a queue in which we will be storing the values of what type of color the edges and what is the end point of this particular edge we'll also need the resultant array it is also of length n we'll fill this resultant array with minus 1 assuming that we cannot get the path from 0 to this particular node now as we know that the resultant path from 0 to 0 is always 0 so we'll put that value now we need to take care of the fact that whether this particular edge that we are working with has not been used before or not so for that purpose we will be having a visited array n cross 2 because there are n nodes and each node can have at most two edges to any other node one of blue and other of red once we are done with it we need to put the initial value into the queue so the value into the queue will be there will be three values we are starting from zero which is the position the current position the distance which is still zero and initially the color is minus one because we do not know the initial color so it is current position the distance and the color once we are done we will start the iteration we will check the queue size is greater than zero or not so we will take out this value so this is the previous value that is stored into the queue we have now a need to find out all the edges that start from this current position and the current position is at previous zero so we will take out this oops is we will now iterate over all these nodes so these are the next nodes that we are working with now what we need to check we need to check whether this particular next node is visited or not and if it is visited does the color matches with the previous color or not the condition would be the node should not be visited and the color should not be the same in both these cases we will do the operation otherwise we won't use this particular edge so we'll write those condition for the visitor the condition will be from zero now if only the result at this particular next node is minus one then we need to update the value otherwise as we know in breath first any answer that we got first will be the minimum value so we need not to override those particular value at this position the distance up till now was stored in previous one and we just need to add one into that result to get the next set of result once we are done we need to mark this particular next node as true and add the value into the queue so we know that the next will now be 
next comma zero the length will be previous one plus one and the color will be next of one so this particular logic or the loop will find the distance between the node zero and the rest of the nodes here we are updating the result array to store that particular result and at the end we just need to return this particular result array so this is the code that we need to solve this particular problem now let's try to run this code okay so this will be a for loop so now it ran successfully let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time complexity is v plus e where v is the number of vertices or the nodes and e is the number of edges i hope you like this video do let us know your thoughts comments and queries in the comment section below if you have any question that you want us to make a video on do comment that as well thanks for watching see you in the next one